How's it going? Today, I wanna to talk to you about simple upgrades you can do to just about any RV. So we've been touring a lot of RVs lately, and uh, we've been noticing a common thread through a lot of them of things that we would want to upgrade. And it's the exact same things that we upgraded in our fifth wheel that we thoroughly enjoy. So one of the, the biggest pet peeves that I have is when you go in there, there's plastic everything. I know they're trying to keep the cost point down to pass it on to the consumer, but I just don't like plastic faucets in my kitchen and plastic faucets in the, in the bathroom area. So we swap those out for just your typical residential faucet and they work wonderful. Uh, the only thing that we did to make it work well is we put these little diffusers in the end. It, you just take out the, the factory ones and you put these in. There's gonna be a link in the, the description to these, uh, but you're able to have your faucet regulated on how many gallons per minute so that if you're boondocking, you're not wasting a ton of water. So you wanna make sure you put in the right diffuser for what you wanna do. So we swapped out both our kitchen faucet and our bathroom faucet. Now, one of the other big things that we notice in a majority of the rigs that we've gone through is just the cheap shower head that they put in them. And they're, they're usually just these plastic pieces of junk that look like they're gonna break. So we swapped ours out, and these are popular among many RVers, is the Oxygenetics shower head. It's easy, it just threads right on. Uh, you just put it right in the, the normal holder right there, and um, it's it works great. You have, the one that we got um, is like the power massage, again, link in the description, um, but uh, it saves you water compared to a normal shower head. Um, and it gives you more of a variety of what you might want out of your stream for taking a shower. So it definitely makes it more enjoyable than some of these just, just flaky kind of cheap plasticky shower heads. So that's definitely one of those things you're gonna wanna swap out. Another item that we wanted to add to our rig and more of them are starting to come with it, but we wanted to add one of those domes to the vent cover because when you're driving down the road, you're able to leave your vent open, or if it's raining, we're able to leave the vent open in the bathroom. Uh, we only have it for one of our vent openings, and I'm planning to put it on the other three eventually, but it's definitely worth having uh, the dome to put over it so that you can have your vent open all the time, rain or shine, doesn't matter. So that's definitely a good one. Another thing that we had noticed uh, as we've been traveling Sometimes you turn on the water before you hook up your rig to it and you're gonna get this uh, kind of rusty or almost a dirt look at times. Sometimes the water quality that you're hooking into in these RV parks is really bad, it's really low. And that first blast of water, sometimes it's better to pour it on the ground, but you know you're gonna be getting that sediment in your line um, regardless if you do that the first time. So we like to put on a filter onto our rig. We have one that's installed, so I just have to replace the, the element in this filter housing. And uh, But they also make these super simple ones that you're able just to hook directly to where you're connecting to uh, the hose bib. You can just hook this right in there and it'll filter out some of that sediment that before it gets into your system. So you definitely wanna do that. You wanna have some kind of filtration of that water coming in and, and pull that, that bad stuff out. So definitely one that you want to put on your rig. Now the last one, the fifth one, isn't uh, the most simple change to make, but uh, there will be a video coming up on how to install one of these, and it's really not that hard. And it's a smart converter. So many of these rigs that you get, the converter for charging your batteries is um, like, like a single stage, uh, but now they make smart converters so that when you're charging your battery, you have multi cycles that it can go, go to. So um, if your battery is really low, it can charge it a lot faster and then move to a, a medium range and then also go to a trickle charge to maintain it. So. Uh, being able to have that to where we can charge our batteries faster and we're not overcharging them so that it's a, a more intelligent uh, charging system. And uh, check the link in the description 
to the converter charger that uh, works well in your rig. Now the one that we have in here is a good, it's a good mid-grade smart converter. And uh, I'm gonna put a link to the one that might be on my wish list that I'd like to do someday. So uh, those are the top five things that we think any rig can use as upgrades. Well, that'll do it for today. We will hopefully see you on the road.